guys, what is going on? JPS back for another video. And today we're gonna be reacting to the best You'll Never Walk Alone Ever. Uh, today I'm watching this with Stefan and Arturo. What up, guys? And uh, I'm gonna give them some context into this because obviously this is a very sentimental and important video and deserves that context. So this song is sung by Liverpool fans, which you guys already know is a soccer Liverpool, team. Yeah. And basically, in 1989, at the Hillsborough Stadium, there was a game between Liverpool and another team, and that day is marked as the Hillsborough Tragedy. And let me show you guys this, actually, real quick. Or the Hillsborough Disaster, not the tragedy. That was a tragedy, though. So essentially, they had a crowd control issue, and there were people who were being pressed up against the barriers of the stadium. Mm -hmm. A good amount of people lost their lives. Uh, 96... 96 yeah. people died. So oh I think I tried gosh. to give them context earlier. I thought it was much less than that. Wow. And so it was a true disaster. And I'm sure lots of people injured. Here's a picture of all the people who died. So. Yeah. It's... And that was, you know, Liverpool fans, uh, fans of the other team, soccer fans alike. Mm -hmm. So the song is titled You'll Never Walk Alone. And uh, it's a very sentimental and emotional song. And it's sung in unison by Liverpool fans. And I think the message is... Uh, Kind of towards the families, specifically of the mm -hmm. Hillsborough tragedy, um, that like you'll never walk alone. The song has some other undertones in it too, that you know are bigger than just that. But that's the kind of the way I interpreted it. So let's just hear it, enjoy it. Very uh, so sad. Rest man. in peace to everyone who lost their life. Honestly, yeah, I reacted to a documentary about the the incident, and uh, it was very just very sad. I mean, just hearing about it. Because you're being pressed up against something and, you know, you can't get out. Couldn't yeah. imagine that. The strength of the crowd. There's nothing you can do. So you just run out of breath. You're going to a soccer game to enjoy yourself and you lose your life. Yeah. That's crazy. That is crazy. And it's a phenomenon that occurs in other things. Like, there's been musical concerts. concerts. Yeah. Uh, Travis Scott is one we think of mm -hmm. in the United States where, you know, just not good crowd control or not good management, whatever the case may be. Uh, miss a misstep by someone that you know causes the death of so many people so let's get right into this Who's that guy? Like, go like 10 seconds back. Who is that? I don't know who that is. Huh. Probably someone related to Liverpool. Oh, okay. <laughs> I really like the scars. Holding up the scars. Yeah, that is, that's, that's hard. But that's hard. And this stadium is deep. I think every seat was filled. That's a lot of people. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They're all singing it together. Mm -hmm. so. Imagine beautiful. the feeling, the, the atmosphere, all the emotion. Yeah. Because there's probably people there who were family members of, you know, people who lost their lives that day. There's right. a lot of emotional energy in one place yeah, yeah.
to the field get hyped up at all. What an unbelievable moment for football in Australia. Yo. <laughs> Imagine being there, bro. Yeah, yeah. the energy there. <laughs> that's that's what I was thinking about. Yeah. Some of the people like are singing their hearts out. I can see it like, yeah. damn, they, eyes closed, just waving <laughs> the flag. I, at the end, like you could hear how loud it was. Yeah. Imagine being a player. You know what? I want to know. Did they win the game? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I was like, did they win this game? Yo, someone comment down below. Did Liverpool win this game? They they better have won. This they game. better have won. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> that's wild. Right? Yeah. Oh, it was a great time though. I mean, they sing that at every game, or. I don't actually know if it's a tradition. Okay. They have their chants and stuff, but what I know though is that they just sung it at this game to commemorate that event that mm -hmm. happened, and it was alluded to at the start. Let me just listen to this intro again, because they talk about Liverpool and the so I think that part truly heartbreaking tragedy. They're talking about the Hillsborough disaster. Yeah. So, yeah, I I've never been to a sporting event where people have like. So, I mean, there's chants and stuff. Like, I've been to some football games, American football games. But they don't, there's not really no, songs and stuff. No, I see, like, the That's wave. They do, I see the wave, yeah. and, like, they do that. But, like, mm -hmm. actually, like, coordinating yourself with your but voice and we'll, singing it. Sometimes we'll have, like, like, a word. Like, if the refs yeah. do something bad, it's boom. boom. I mean, at the, co the right. college games, yeah. they be playing the music. Yeah. That's true, yeah. Yeah, but I'm <laughs> saying, like, this is, they didn't even need to play the song. The whole crowd was singing it. Yeah. Oh, and we could do that uh, reaction in the future because European football fans, they go crazy with the chants and stuff. Oh, yeah? Like, mm. crazy. Like, <laughs> it blows anything we have here away. Like, mm -hmm. They'll come up with stuff on the spot, making fun of another player, like, singing chants about <laughs> what? Yeah. Like, no way. That's funny. Uh, we, we're going to watch a video in the future. <laughs> but anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed that. Um, rest in peace again to anyone who lost their life or family members. Uh, Very we'll sad. Never Rest in peace. Alone, right? So yeah, um, hit the like button, guys. Hit subscribe, and we will catch you all in the next one. Thanks, Thanks for having us.